Next, the chemical reaction in haloalkanes. The haloalkanes uh, they are divided into following the categories: nucleophilic substitution reaction, elimination reaction, reaction with metals. Already we have seen that as haloarenes means the same nucleophilic substitution and that electrophilic substitution reaction and reaction with metal. Here difference only the elimination reaction. Uh, others are same. Here first we will discuss the nucleophilic substitution reaction. See the the nucleophile react with the carbon halogen one that is for any alkyl halide. The uh, a substitution reaction takes place and the halogen atom is called a leaving group. Here the halogen atom is a leaving group uh, that, that departs as a halide ion. So since the substitution reaction is initiated by a nucleophile is called nucleophilic substitution reaction. Uh, see they have the carbon halogen, the carbon having partially positive charge and halogen having the partially negative charge. So that the nucleophile, uh, the nucleophile having a negative charge so attracting each other to the halides and leaving. That is the halides and the leaving group and departs to the, uh, the halogen atom departs to the halide ion. So uh, this is a useful class of the organic um, uh, organic reactions of alkyl halide in which the halogen is bonded. The halogen is bonded which were sp3 hybridized carbon atom. See the products of uh, formed by the reaction of haloalkanes with some uh, carbon common nucleophiles like a reagent suppose reagent KOH or NaOH. Here the nucleophile will be OH minus. Here the substitution product will be alcohol. Similarly, H2O reagent is H2O means here the nucleophile will be H2O. This is reagent and this is a nucleophile. Then um, sodium iodide. Here the nucleophile is iodide. Iodide and is a nucleophile and that uh, product will be this will be alcohol and H2O. This is also same alcohol is a product and this will be alkyl iodide. Then uh, reacting with ammonia, this reagent is ammonia means nucleophile is also ammonia and the product will be primary amine. Then reaction with KCN, it is reagent KCN, here the cyanide, cyanide ion is a uh, nucleophilic then substitution product is nitrile or cyanide nitrile or cyanide then reaction with KNO2 nitrite here NO2 is a nucleophile the product will be alkyl nitrile alkyl nitride. So uh, the similar way uh, AgNO2 silver nitride NO2 here also the product will be here uh, the nucleophile also AgO N double bond O and the nitroalkane is a product. Here, the groups of cyanide and the nitrites uh, they possess two nucleophilic centers. They are called ambident nucleophile because carbon uh, the uh, atom uh, carbon atom uh, coordinate through the carbon atom and coordinate through the nitrogen atom for cyanide group. Here, this uh, nitride 
coordination through the oxygen atom and coordination through the nitrogen there is two different possibles are there so this type of nucleophile is called ambident nucleophile ambident nucleophile so uh, this uh, this means that actually the cyanide group is a hybrid of uh, two contributing structure this means uh, c triple bond and the, they have a resonance like this c double bond n that is here n negative charge and this carbon negative charge so that is the linking uh, through the carbon atom resulting is alkyl cyanide linking uh, through the nitrogen atom resulting isocyanide similarly nitrite nitrate uh, also uh, an ambident nucleophile suppose uh, ox the linkage through oxygen result alkyl nitrile uh, through nitrogen atom it gives nitro alkane so this is the different then mechanism SN2 reaction the SN2 indicates substitution nucleophilic bimolecular reaction uh, why it is called bimolecular reaction means the its reaction follows the second order kinetics this means the rate depends upon the concentrations of the both reactants so uh, the bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction is incoming nucleophile interact with the alkyl halide causing the carbon halide bond to break while forming a new carbon hydroxide that is uh, OH bond these two uh, process takes place simultaneously like this the OH is this is the incoming nucleophile and the Cl this is the outgoing nucleophile uh, it is a single step mechanism with a no intermediate so there's a reaction progresses a bond between the nucleophile and the carbon atom starts forming uh, the bond between the carbon atom and the leaving group is weakens see as as this happened the configuration of the carbon atom under attack invert see like the inverts in much the same way uh, as in look at this the umbrella is turned inside uh, out when the car in a strong wind so look like just it gives uh, while the leaving group is pushed away this is the leaving group so leaving group is pushed away so this process is called inverted configuration so just uh, opposite like this the product is this is inverted configuration So the, in the transition state, this transition state, the carbon atom is a simultaneously bonded this incoming nucleophile and the outgoing nucleophile. So such uh, structures are unstable. The structures are unstable and cannot be isolated. It because the carbon atom is in this transition state is simultaneously bonded uh, to five atoms of the uh, five atoms and therefore is unstable look at this one two three four five so that is an unstable compound here this is the methyl halide and look at this this is the primary halide and this is a secondary halide and this is a tertiary halide in simple alkyl halide that is the methyl halide react most rapidly in SN2 reaction because there are only hydrogen bonds connected with the carbon uh, so that small hydrogen atom then uh, the tertiary that is the tertiary halide look at this the tertiary are as the least reactive this is the highly reactive and this is the least reactive towards the SN2 reaction because the bulky groups hinder the uh, approaching nucleophile so the order of reactivity is methyl halide that is primary halide is greater than secondary halide is greater than tertiary halide so in, towards the SN2 reaction 
the primary uh, methyl halide simple methyl halide is rapidly reacting the primary halides are more reactive than secondary halide is more reactive than tertiary halide because of the steric effect because then in, uh, in methyl halides no uh, bulky groups are present only hydrogen atom hydrogen is a small atom but here look at this here the c one ch3 group is present so that steric will be there that is a steric hindrance then here two methyl groups are the that is in secondary halide so that more steric and here no hydrogen atom is attached all threes are bulky groups so that most steric will be there that's why in this reaction uh, tertiary halide is least reactive then the substitution nucleophilic unimolecular reaction next is substitution nucleophilic uh, unimolecular reaction uh, the unimolecular uh, reaction that follows a first order kinetics the first order kinetics the rate of the reaction depends upon the concentrations of the only one reactant uh, which is tertiary butyl bromide so sn1 reactions are generally carried out in polar protic solvent like water alcohol acetic acid like this the reaction between the tertiary, uh, tertiary butyl bromide and the hydroxide ion so you will get the yield is tertiary butyl alcohol so uh, this follows the first order kinetics this is the tertiary butyl there is two bromo two methyl propane give two methyl prop and two r this is a two step mechanism the first step the polarized carbon bromide bond undergoes slow cleavage so this is a slow step slow cleavage uh, to produce a carbocation here the produce the carbocation and a bromide ion and this bromide ion the carbocation the second step the carbocation thus formed then attacked by the nucleophile uh, the complete the substitution reaction so that you will be getting 2 methyl propan 2 r so the step one is the slowest and reversible uh, it involves the carbon uh, bromide bond breaking for which the energy is obtained through the solvation of halide ion uh, with the proton or protic solvent so since the rate of reaction depends upon the slowest step uh, the rate of reaction depends only so look at this only on the concentration of the alkyl halide and not on the concentration of the hydroxide ion uh, further the greater the stability of the carbocation so uh, the greater will be the it's uh, the formation of the alkyl halide is faster will be the rate of reaction so in in case the alkyl halides with tertiary alkyl halides undergoes SN1 reaction faster. SN1 reaction usually tertiary is more rapidly than uh, se secondary and primary. Uh, the tertiary is very faster in SN1 reaction. The, uh, the high stability of the tertiary carbocation. See, in uh, SN1 reaction, the order of reactivity like this, tertiary is greater than secondary is greater than primary is greater than the alkyl halide that is the methyl halide so this order of reactivity for sn1 and sn2 just we can compare the sn2 already we say we have seen that is ch3x is greater than primary is greater than secondary is greater than tertiary so this is the a reverse of the reaction just re opposite of the reaction for the same reason that is the allylic and the benzylic uh, halide shows the high reactivity towards the sn1 reaction here look at the allylic and the benzylic halide uh, uh, that shows high reactivity towards the sn1 reaction the carbocation that's formed gets stabilized through the resonance see look at this the carbocation is stabilized by the resonance like this and this will be stabilized like this so in uh, this is for allylic halide allylic 
allylic carbon and the benzylic so benzylic here this bond is stabilized so in benzylic uh, this bond st uh, stabilize the carbocation and uh, the resonating like hybrid like this so again this carbocation is stabilized by this bond and uh, formation of the carbocation is here then this bond is stabilized to the carbocation and it will become a double bond then the double bond gives look uh, and positive charge is created here this double bond is stabilized with the carbocation and uh, forming the original structure so this is uh, given that as alkyl group the reactivity of halides and that is rx uh, same order follows the same order in the both mechanism so the first one and second one that means the alkyl iodide is greater than the alkyl bromide is greater than alkyl fluoride is greater than alkyl fluoride because iodine is a biggest one so better leaving group compared to bromide bromide is better leaving group compared to chloride chloride is better leaving group compared to so this is the SN1 mechanism.